space for 9 to 15 people at a time. Yeah, not a lot of space for that many people. No. Uh, this is where they slept and cooked and ate and everything happened up here. Um, so Molly's bedroom is back there, as you can see. The REM pod is in the chair, it looks terrifying. Um, but it's because the camera is over there. So we put the REM pod right there just so it could be in Molly's room and then the camera can also see it. Now, you are allowed to go in there. Um, so you are allowed to go in there. <laughs> that, that creeped me out first. Um, I get people asking if they can. Yes, you can. Um, the furniture, though, is going to be off limits up here. Uh, originally, the bunk beds were okay to sit on, but then a few weeks ago, somebody was on the floor after sitting on this one. Um, so the bunk beds are no longer okay to sit on, because you might end up not being on it anyway. Now, up here, um, there's Molly. There's Bobby. He might be up here. If he wasn't downstairs, maybe he's up here, because this is where he lived. Also, there's another spirit named Samuel, or Mr. Samuel, Mr. Sam. We like to uh, call him Mr. because we think he might like it. Uh, he's really cool, really talkative, one of my favorite spirits here. Um, he does enjoy the spirit box and flashlight stuff on occasion, so you can reach out to him. Um, any questions? Cool. All right. Well, then, and good luck. Also, the reason I started you guys up here, I should tell you now. Um, so, they're big spirit box that they got is quite a bit louder than these ones um so i figured it would be better for you guys to be up here um rather than having them like be above you while you're downstairs with the spirit box going because then you'd be able to hear it and that would be annoying um so now you get to be downstairs while they're up here okay, oh, okay. so you're gonna have the downstairs that's what i have figured <laughs> yeah yeah, I just did that because their spirit box is going to be a little bit louder. So when your next rotation, when you're upstairs, you probably are going to hear their spirit box at some point. Just to, yeah, just to that. And you know what? So you to leave? Yes. Okay. I just don't know what to do. I'm going to observe. Do you know how much time we have in each spot? 25 minutes. 25 minutes. So how often do you do this? Oh, I do several a year. Okay. Do you post your findings and stuff? Do you have a blog or anything? Or? I have a yeah, yeah, YouTube channel. You do? Yeah, it's called uh, Paranormal Savage. Oh, all right. We're going to have to look for your... So I have a lot of videos in there. Paranormal savage, you have to write the timelines. Yeah, if you type it in, you'll see it. It does. Oh. And it's my fault. All right, so I'm going to do some things. So, this is Molly's room. She was, it's, you know, she had her own room. This is also when she passed away. Be respectful. No. I'm 
tamale. There's Molly, Samuel, and Bobby. I'm gonna put this right here. Um, you couldn't get that box to work, something with the batteries at that end or what? This here's a uh, special recorder right here, and tally saw after. So if you want to do an EVP session to see if we catch anything, um, I'll record and see if we can get something. Um, and y'all can ask a que any questions too, you know, so. Sure. The camera's right there. Right here. Okay, we're here in the uh, carriage house, uh, the uh, uh, sorrel house, and is Molly here? My name is John. Can you tell me your name? Molly, was you murdered? You supposedly was hung from the ceiling in, in the other house. And is that true? So I'm going to stop and I'll play it back and see if we got anything. Okay, we're here in the 
Something's trying to come through. Is that true? Did you hear? I mean, there's something trying to come through. Yeah, I heard that. Play it again. It sounded like there was like two words there at once. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this recorder right here is highly sought after. It was built around 1999, 2000, 2001. There's very few of them left. All your ghost hunters on these shows now try to get these and they do have them. Uh, these things now will run about two to three thousand dollars. Wow. Um, because when they were made, Panasonic, Panasonic made these and what happened was People were returning them because they were saying they were getting all this, these voices and stuff on it that wasn't there, you know, it wasn't recorded. Really? And then other people started using them later on and then figure out they were catching spirit voices. So let's try this again. Yeah, let's try it again. Here, but this, but, but I want you, I want y'all to ask some questions because see, the thing about ghost hunting is they may not respond to me where they might respond to you, <laughs> or a woman might work better than a guy. Okay, I can and, ask. Uh, Okay. Ooh, give me chills. So, are we ready? Sure. Recording. Hi there, this is Allison. We're wondering if anyone's here. If you're here, can you let us know your name? I'm Mike. Just wanted to introduce myself. Well, is this Molly? We were told that typically the people we can connect with here is either Molly, Bobby, or Samuel. Can you say one of those names if it's you? Wanna check back? Yeah. Okay. Hi there, this is Allison. We're wondering if anyone's here. If you're here, can you let us know your name? Uh, I'm Mike. I'm to introduce myself. Well, is this Molly? We were told that typically the people we can connect with here is either Molly, Bobby, or Samuel, can you say one of those names? Is it you? Was there? I know. <laughs> Let's play it one more time. <sighs> That is, that's a... Yeah, okay, so what if we say Samuel and say yes or no? And then we'll say Bobby, say yes or no. Maybe could we make out a yes or no better? It, I don't know. We can try it. I mean, it really shouldn't make any difference. Okay, to be we don't you. have to. I, I'm new um, at this. <laughs> but, well, yeah, I mean, but don't, yeah, you can try anything. Um, I think we probably should maybe ask, maybe, you know, they're not here right now. Maybe somebody else, somebody else is here. Okay. So... I'll, I'll start it by asking yeah, a question. Ahead, we'll go just go ahead. around the room here. Is there anyone in this carriage house besides Molly? Anyone? 
And if it is, can you tell us your name? Mike, you ask them because I don't know what to ask. I just want to know their name. Is Bobby here? So, were you a slave? Did you hate the people here that were over you? Did they treat you well? Okay, we'll play back. Oh, you want to say something? No, no, no. Go ahead. Okay. Is there anyone in this carriage house besides Molly? So well, that, there was someone here, but they're, they're gone now. <laughs> well, it's kind of weird because, yeah, I mean, then it wasn't any any anything trying to come through. Yeah. You know, but it was when he was asking for Molly. Uh, yeah. I mean, they gave you a spirit box, didn't mm -hmm. you? I mean, you can try that. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. I mean, they work well. Sometimes they don't. That's really what this is. This is another spirit box, but I don't know. Is the battery dead on or what? I need to turn it up. Yeah, I tried turning it up and that's all it does. Oh lord. <laughs> that ain't much of a... Well... Yeah, that's a lot of and the And it just keeps going through like you mm -hmm. hear voices or something you say? Yeah, it, it goes off of radio stations. I do have a speaker in here we can plug into it. Let's do that. Here, can they activate the light near the stairs so we know that you're here? Do your best. Oh, that's better. Okay, turn it up. There it is. Molly, are you here? Is there something that you would like to tell us? Slaves in this room. Could you tell us your name? Oh my God! Yes, I'm there. That's one thing about these spirit boxes. Just so you know, a lot of times you won't hear it, but when you play it back, is where you hear probably 60, 70 percent. Uh, it's weird. You know, yeah. yeah. When you record it. Oh, 
Oh, you recorded anything. Play it back. That's typically what you hear all the time. Mm-hmm. Not live. Typically. Yeah. Is there anybody here with us? No, that was. You tell me, can you tell some spirits are in the room? Can you give us a number? This is the way we know that you're here. Do you not like us being here? I would appreciate if you would speak to us. I'm from Kentucky, can you tell me where you're from? So what you can, well, I mean, I'll, I'll be posting this stuff online, so that's where you can listen back to it. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Is there, is there something that you would like to tell us? Well, you... Huh. Well, it could be some infection. I mean, you know, sure. Is there someone here? Is there someone here that's affecting this lady over here? Would you would you rather rather have just leave? If you're here, can you make any of these green lights or the red light on the chair go off? We're just here for a very short time, so if you'd like to speak to us now, the time to do so. Maybe you don't like speaking to people. Maybe you just want people to leave you alone. Is that true? Because what else? I don't know. <laughs> Is that you trying to communicate with us? Was it a hard life here? If you're here, were you murdered or did you kill yourself? I think that question is disrespectful. I don't know. I don't think so. No, I, like, I feel like that's disrespectful. Oh. I, I, like, that's not a little bit confusing. Why would she answer you? Well, you gotta remember, I mean, there's probably thousands of people coming in here every year. I know. Year, I mean. and, and um, you know, I think that, I'm tired of that question. Right, but back in the day, when an owner of slaves killed someone by hanging. Well, I will tell you this. I didn't say nothing to the guy, this guy here. So I, I was just here last night with a professional guy. He's a, he's a, he's been doing uh, guidance over here for 25 years. And, and he had to be certified to be a national, um, you know, to be a, a storyteller or whatever. But basically what the story he told was totally different from what he was told. Totally different. Matter of fact, he, he said he said that that the um, the owner did hang her. 
And I thought I thought it was in like in a square or something. Yeah, it was in the gallows. It was in the gallows out here. And he resurrected the gallows and hung. What he said. And but the re see he didn't go into great detail, but this guy did last night. I mean he went into really good detail. The his first wife he was only married, I think, for I don't know, a very short time. And she died. Okay. And then her sister come over to stay with him. And, and he married her after 30 days. And then... No, well... No, I'm getting confused. Which, which one was the slave? Oh, no, the slave was Molly. The slave was Molly. And then and his second wife was that girl, woman's sister. The first wife, okay? Well... He had her make a potion to give her his second wife. And in that potion was uh, mushrooms, which made her freak out with uh, hallucinating and stuff. And she basically threw herself off of the second and third porch over here. So the owner took Molly, which she, she was like a, like a booty person, is what she was. Yes. She, she was in the voodoo and stuff. She made potions. So basically, of course, he blamed her for that potion, even though he told her to give it to her. And that's when he had her hung out there in the square. So it's totally different from the his story. I'm assuming the guy last night he was talking about because he was a national story. Okay. So I'm assuming he knew. I mean, I don't know. I haven't done no research, but uh, he did. He went into great detail about it. So it was deep. So the guy last night, was, was that the true account of what happened, the guy from last night? Yep, yep heard that. So was the guy last night, was he accurate? Did you tell us yes? No. I'm not really hearing anything relevant. You want to just to turn this device off? Anybody feeling anything or anything yourself? I'm still feeling very scared. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. But that could be too many. Well, it could be because you're not used to it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it doesn't bother me because I've done it so much. I mean, and I kind of welcome them. I mean, you see something or hear something. I mean, that's why you're doing it for them. Okay.